At a frenzied rally just outside of Islamabad, a warning for the Pope to keep his nose out of Pakistan's blasphemy laws. When you challenge our respect, when you challenge Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and will take the revenge of the disrespect of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, doesn't matter whoever does it. Thousands attended the protest that came days after the Vatican called for Pakistan to repeal its controversial blasphemy laws that say whoever defiles the name of the Prophet Muhammad shall be punished by death or imprisoned for life. The laws came under sharp focus when this man, Mumtaz Kadri, murdered a liberal Pakistani politician who dared to criticize the laws. Hardline religious groups have praised the killer, calling him a hero. Here the killer's picture adorned a banner alongside the cleric who allegedly inspired him. The cleric now wanted by police. Ever since the shooting, there's been a lot of protests in Pakistan. The pictures have been powerful. They've been extremely passionate. The perception here in Pakistan and outside is that there's this mass movement in support of the killer and against Pakistan's moderate voices. That's the perception. But the reality is a little bit more complicated. Salman Taseer, the politician who was gunned down, was on a campaign to change Pakistan's blasphemy laws. Too often they were used to persecute minorities, he said. But protesters here say he wanted to wipe out the laws, an act they see as an attack on Islam. He was definitely trying to repeal the law, says this man. This teenager agrees. The widespread belief that Tasir was on a mission to repeal the laws has fueled a conspiracy theory against Islam. No doubt he was an agent, says Noor Ali Mustafa. After the Pope's statement, it is clear where he was getting orders from. He has been forced to get into that position. For the killer's lawyer, even criticizing Pakistan's blasphemy laws is an attack on Islam, punishable by death. The law will stand there that anyone who is disrespectful to Rasulullah sallam, in law, there should be, there is a punishment to that. It will remain there and we will protect it. The assassin's lawyer says his client should be set free because he was compelled to defend his faith. For now, Kadri remains behind bars, viewed by thousands of supporters who believe he killed an enemy of Islam, not a politician who simply wanted to improve a law. Reza Sayyah, CNN, Rawalpindi.